Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about circles, uh, just the basics of circles and um, how they kind of interact with each other. You should already know a couple key, um, key vocabulary words about circles, um, one of them being radius. So a radius is going to be a segment with one endpoint on the circle and one endpoint at the center of the circle. So it's gonna kind of, I'm gonna use a ruler here, it's gonna kind of look like this. And now that you know a little bit about line segments, we can go ahead and we can name that. Well, the middle of the circle, let's go ahead and call that A. And then out here, this, this, uh, this point out here is going to be called B, sure, why not? Okay, one important note about circles is that you name a circle by its center, which right now the center is A. So this would be called circle, circle A. Okay, another, um, another vocabulary word that you probably already know is the diameter. Diameter. So the diameter is from uh, one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle. But the important part is that it has to cross through the middle. Um, so it's double the radius is probably what you know. So let's go ahead and call this one a uh, CD. Why not? So now we have radius um, AB and we have diameter CD. Okay. Now one important uh, vocabulary word that you have not learned yet is called a chord. Now a chord is a segment with both endpoints on the circle. So say it's going from like D Okay, so now we have chord. It's spelled C H O R D. Chord E D. We have radius A B and we have diameter C D. These two circles are called concentric concentric circles because they both share the same center. Now what if this center was called D? What is the name of this circle right here? Is it circle D? Well, you don't know, right? Because this could be circle D or this could be circle D. You have to figure out um, where the radius is. So if it, you had a radius right here, and you called that one F, right? Well, the inner circle would be called circle D with radius DF, and then the outer one would be a different one. Let's call that a Q, why not? Okay, so the inner circle would be circle D with radius DF, and then the outer circle would be circle D with radius Q. There it is. That's circles.